Paul Wetzel now to find out how much more we may be getting. Paul? Hey, let's go ahead and revisit what I showed you a few minutes ago. This is our live look uh, from the YSU Stadium. And uh, just to show you what 45 minutes time can do as these thunderstorms are blowing up quickly uh, this afternoon. I backed this up to 530. You can see the clouds forming and then boom, that rain just falling out of this thunderstorm. A very dark clouds, very heavy rainfall uh, falling in eastern Mahoning County right now. Speaking of heavy rainfall, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these rain totals across the area. I just read an email that came into the station over in Southington, three and a half inches of rainfall in a rain gauge and many spots getting an inch to an inch and a half to two inches, especially across uh, parts of Trumbull and Mercer counties tonight. Now eastern Mahoning County getting another dose of some of that heavier rainfall too. And you can plainly see it with lightning tracker here uh, where the storms are intensifying or decreasing, uh, the newest of which uh, just now in eastern Mahoning County. Another cluster of storms out to the west that I'm going to watch as the evening goes on. Uh, let's head in a little closer though. Just some showers across Trumbull County now after heavy rainfall. Uh, moderate rainfall central northern Mercer County, but this storm uh, down in Mahoning County uh, packing quite a punch right now, and that includes the east side of Camel to Struthers on over toward Lowellville now, uh, pushing into northwestern Lawrence County. And that would include New Bedford. So very heavy rainfall along 422 uh, pushing into the Pennsylvania line, uh, falling down just under two inches of rainfall per hour here as uh, these storms move on through. And you can expect that threat to stick around on through the evening. Another cluster trying to form across southern Ohio. So this is where we're stuck. We're stuck in a pattern that will bring waves of rain and thunderstorms, one of which this evening will get a little break into tomorrow morning, much like this morning. And then by midday and afternoon tomorrow, the next round of showers and thunderstorms try to form. And these two can produce heavy rainfall, gusty wind, and possible flooding as they move on through. And we just kind of keep beating that same drum as the week goes on here uh, with this heavy rainfall. So these rain totals will continue to add up uh, through the week. In between, just hot and humid weather uh, expected right into your Thursday and Friday. 73 tonight, watching those showers and storms, the potential still there uh, for heavy rainfall, some flooding, and of course, dangerous lightning. Tomorrow, temperatures building into the upper 80s, humid scattered showers and storms, especially on through the afternoon and evening. And those two can produce an inch or two of rainfall if you get stuck underneath one of those. Seven days, well, more of the same. As I said, beating that same drum. 87 on Friday. Showers, thunderstorms, especially through the afternoon and evening. Saturday, we're going to do it over again. Slightly cooler on Sunday, but still the chance of showers and storms and a little cooler uh, next week, but a small chance of showers and storms. How about the flip we have done? We've gone into <laughs> yeah. all those dry weather throughout the summer. A completely different pattern in place for us this week. We'll finally have a little bit of soft, soggy ground to walk right. over. We'll right? look forward <laughs> to some dry weather yeah. this time. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Paul.